morning. Congratulations for your event. In terms of educational leadership, I think it's very important and it's critical. You need political leadership, in fact, political will to make sure that our children are educated and educated well. And you need to marry that with sound executive skill. You need leaders at the executive level, bureaucrats, people in the education department who can roll out the education plans and policies and make sure they are implemented soundly on the ground. I had the pleasure of working with one such leader, a bureaucrat in Rajasthan, and he was absolutely exceptional. One, he cared deeply to make sure that education improved in the state. Two, he orchestrated it well so that when he had a plan, he made sure that other departments fell into place. Three, he was able to, he cared about developing leadership from the ground up, especially min, uh, middle management. He empowered them, he inspired them. And because he was working so dedicatedly, everybody else did. And fourthly, very important, he knew that he wouldn't be there forever. And so he was careful to put all the innovations into the system so that they wouldn't get lost after he left. Thirdly, uh, in terms of micro improvement, you know, while we're working at, uh, while leadership at the government level is really important, at the same time, there are many micro improvements that in fact, social entrepreneurs, NGOs are very good at. They have great innovations. And oftentimes governments and especially good leaders, they're very invitational. They allow them to come, they partner with them as Naresh did, and they do a very good job of that. At the same time, that's not enough. You can't just outsource all this work to innovators and NGOs. What you need to do and what is lacking really is where the government needs to adopt some of these innovations, not just in letter. Oh, we'll take, let's take your curriculum and do it. No, but actually in the whole spirit that it's meant. Our own organization, Study Hall Education Foundation, we are working with all the NG, uh, KGBVs and UP. The government is very happy to let us do that. But what I really want is for them to make gender education a part of the official curriculum with the critical feminist pedagogy in all their schools. Then I feel that will be a successful partnership. And I think our micro improvement will have the impact that it deserves to have.